Goal amongst Black Lives Matter supporters are for real change against racial injustice in America. Today at Beach Park, where an event was happening earlier, participants say education and voting were important parts of that change. We have to be aware and educated on, the, on who we're electing to represent us in our congressional districts. So until we as a society start to accept some of the blame and, let, and responsibility that we've become lazy and to the point where we're not informed on our own politics, only then once we do that, will we actually start making a real change? Joseph Fonseca called today's demonstration an event, saying it is part of a larger conscious movement. We're here. We're not going away this time. It's not 2014, Ferguson. We're not here to riot for a day. We're not here to riot for a month. We're here to educate everyone and inform everyone on when November comes, what we have to do as a collective society. Trayvon Armstrong, who was born and raised in Bakersfield, is glad to see this movement and is impressed with the support here in town over the last week. Say, growing up in Bakersfield, man, you see a lot of lot of racism and you see a lot of divide. So when when these like protests march and all this stuff start happening, you see that side of Bakersfield where people come out of all different um, colors, all different races, ages, all that, you know, and they all band together to support one cause is big. The support Armstrong mentions is what Fonseca hopes makes a change for the future. But one day I want to have kids. I want to have a family. And I want to make sure that when they do grow up, they're growing up in an unbiased, unracist society. I don't I refuse to have kids in this society. The event had vendors, food, and even a DJ. And Fonseca said those who came out are the ones who truly wanted to be here and make a change. For now in Bakersfield, I'm Matt Lively, 23 ABC News, connecting you.